that's the way I feel. Right. Because anything right. that goes wrong on that plan, if if uh, if, uh, if uh, a, a, a an operator tells them, hey, you know what, you can save a lot of money and a lot of excessive overtime oh, yeah. by doing it this way. You won't hear anything for about six, seven months, and all of a sudden, oh, they, the they, they, they the thought about the idea. The idea. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to come from labor. Come on, dude. They just, they don't want to come from labor. Right. We could have implemented that a long time ago and been down the road, you know? Yeah. But think about that. You know, an offer from the IBP to go organize your non-union competitor. And the company just sits across the table from me and goes, no response whatsoever. None. That's amazing to me. Yeah. yeah. You pay the health and welfare, we'll pay the... The wages. Well, you know, they're getting <laughs> the quality right now that a $12 an hour person will get. That's why they're having all these quality issues right now. Not, not, not according to the company, though. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine and peachy. Well, when you got the stack of their emails, it's pretty clear that this is not business I, as I usual. <laughs> what school was it yesterday that pulled the stuff out? I thought it was Issaquah. Issaquah. Did Issaquah, Issaquah, Issaquah pull it out yesterday? Right Issaquah on. did. That chemicals? Issaquah. Yeah. Well, when I was talking to Fred, you should have heard the kind of stuff that they're doing with the machinery. I mean, that they're having management has to come down and physically tell them you have to clean the machines. They're, they're not cleaning the hoses, pipes, nothing. Oh, they, they, they don't understand this is a prerequisite for running milk, that they got to clean the machinery? Uh, apparently not. I, I don't know. Wow. Well, you they don't care. Put it in know. the bottles and go home. Well, it's well, that's what $12 an hour yeah. gets you, though. And I mean, water, and, and, so. and you know, working in there, that they don't they don't treat you like yeah. a human being. Right. You're, you're you're a number, a paycheck, and you're just designed nope. to do. Yeah. The, the last six years know. under the new management, that's exactly what it's been like. I mean, I've only yeah. been there three, but you know, I fully yeah. understand that I'm just a mule. It wasn't like that before. No, no. I, I don't when know, I came I here, know, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. <laughs> you know? I, I really did. We we worked hard. We worked our fingers to the bone every night. You expect me to take less than twenty dollars an hour? You left knowing you got all your work done. You did a good job. You got paid fairly. And it's my fault. <laughs> like you didn't have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Now I wake no. up in the middle of the well, night you, you going, You know what really bothers oh me is that on my machine, <laughs> yeah. that I was the and, only one running it. And look at all the holidays we have, three we have to put in. Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. Who, get, who gets a holiday? Yeah. How much, you, yeah. you know, I mean, that just, that burns me they up. They have three people running the machine that you ran. Yeah, I ran it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, and look what he did to himself. Yeah. yeah. You know, for but, it. but Todd told me it was ergonomic friendly. That That's that's what they're converting over to. So it'd be less less physical. Ergonomic friendly? Yeah. So as opposed to labor friendly. Yeah, whatever. Well, at least he's friendly to something. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I thought ergonomic friendly would be like less bending over, less. Right. You know, yeah. Well, at least when we got the job, we had to go for physical to QAs. They don't do nothing like that. Oh, I want to know if they U8 any of these guys. No, no, they didn't. Wow. Now, you, you know, if we come back, they're going to U8 every single one of us. Well, before before we walk in the door. And, uh, yeah. and physical. I heard about that. And physical, too. Trailer, ODing. Yeah, that was cool. That's a, that's a prime employee right there. I want, I want people to know that they have heroin dealers making their milk. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my kids are drinking that. I don't yeah. think so. That's why that app is so good. Well, I mean, if this doesn't end the country, no doubt the company will be destroyed. This can't continue. No. They say that this is their property. This is their surveyed property by the yellow line. And this, and we're not supposed to cross over. Well, if you cross it, what they start taking? Oh, they would probably take your picture and try to intimidate you some more. So. Well, I'd like to get some of those videos just for keepsake. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> See what I was like. Right. <laughs> That's tough on these guys in gray here. They're just told that they got to get out and keep watching. Yeah. Does like, yeah. 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 Y
My feet hurt. <laughs> My feet hurt every day. <laughs> ah, but her spirit's strong. You know, and then how many how many other jobs are actually going to hire you, knowing that you're locked out, and that if they, you know, you sign a contract, that you're going to split. That's right. You know, it's real catch twenty two. Oh, well, you're screwed. Yeah, some of them are already saying that. Somebody applied at Cisco, and he was told that. Well, twenty two. They had twenty job openings. Well, you, well, you can't blame no them. Yeah. Yeah, I'd stay at Cisco. Yeah. yeah. Their wages aren't competitive. I don't know. They're one seventy four, aren't they? What the one seventy four? This is probably one of the hardest times to drive now. Because you're caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, you are. And a lot of people are going to wait it out. And when you do get a contract, Mike Wagner. What Mike is saying is that if something's going to, you know, whatever their little plan is with ice cream. Huh? Mm. Okay, I'm okay. Hello again, I'm Mike. Mm. Ready? Yeah. You going? Yeah. Okay. Hello again, I'm Mike James at the old Derrigold plant in the Rainier Valley on City Street this week. That's great, thank you. Anytime. Going? Hello again, I'm Mike James at the old Derrigold plant in the, uh, where the heck is it? It's the Rainier Valley, isn't it? Okay. okay. Mm. Hello again, I'm Mike James at the old Derrigold plant in the Rainier Valley on City Stream this week. Mm. Okay. Okay. Our city voices this week come from the old Derrigold plant in the Rainier Valley. West Farm Foods, which owns the old plant, okay, let's... Okay. Mm. You come from a little further away. Yep. Okay. Over a little. Oh, yeah? This way a little. Okay. Mm. How many people are in the 
I'm ready. Okay, Joy. Our city voices this week come from the old dairy gold plant in southeast Seattle. West Fart, oh, I'll start that again. Okay, okay, I'm rolling. Our city voices this week come from the old dairy gold plant in the Rainier Valley. West Farm Foods, which owns this plant, locked out the workers about six months ago in a dispute which involved the Teamsters Local 66 and the company, a dispute over a contract. Now, leaving aside the merits of the dispute, six months is a long time to be off the job, and it is hurting. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Our city voices this week come from the old Derigo plant in southeast Seattle. West Farm Foods, which owns the plant, locked out all of the workers here in a dispute with Teamsters Local 66 over a new contract. Now, the merits of the debate over that bargaining contract aside, six months is a long time off the job, and it is starting to hurt. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Mm. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Our city voices. Okay. Go on. Our city voices this week come. Just wave your finger at me. Okay. Okay. Our city voices this week come from the old Derigo plant in the Rainier Valley. West Farm Foods, which owns this plant, locked out all of the workers six months ago in a bargaining contract dispute with Teamsters Local 66. Now, the merits of that bargaining debate aside, six months is a long time off the job, and it is starting to hurt. Whenever you're ready. Okay. You may have a take on the boycott against Derrick Gold and on this uh, lockout that's going on down here, or perhaps generally on labor issues in the United States and locally, and that's a little too much to say in a talk back. <laughs> the guy went off here. Okay. What's your take on this labor? And you got a van coming behind you. All of a sudden, it's okay. okay. Mm. All right. Okay. What's your take on this labor dispute on the boycott against Derrick Gold products? It's easy to talk back to us. Send us your email at talkback at seattle.gov. All right, ready. <coughs> Whenever you're ready, I'm okay. All right. What's your take on this labor dispute on the boycott against Dairy Gold products? It's easy to talk back to us. Send your email to talkback at seattle.gov. Why, I'm cold today for some reason. So think about Enron, think about, uh, <coughs> think about the exec. That could be you, if only you were executive. If only I could speak like that. Ready? Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Think for a moment about Enron, about the executives at the top who manipulated the stock price and made off with millions of dollars. Think about athletes who take drugs to give themselves an advantage. Think about students who cheat to do a little better in school. And think about average Americans who pad their expense accounts and maybe take home supplies from the office. They're all part of David Callahan's new book, The Cheating Culture, in which he asks, are we a nation of cheaters? Beautiful. I don't think. But it's never happened. Don't burn the tape, though. Okay. Think about Enron for a moment and the executives at the top who manipulated the stock price and made off with millions. I'm sorry. One man band. <coughs> All right, I'm ready when you are. Think about Enron for a moment and the executives at the top who manipulated the stock price and made off with millions of dollars. Or think about athletes who take drugs to give themselves an extra edge. Or students who cheat their way in school to make a better grade or average Americans 
who maybe pad their expense accounts or take home supplies from the office. They're all part of David Callahan's new book, The Cheating Culture, in which he asks, are we a nation of cheaters? Whenever you're ready. Yeah, okay. We love to hear your comments on TalkBack, and it's easy to do. Just mail us TalkBack at seattle.gov. Now, let's see what's in our electronic mailbag for this week. We love your comments. We love to hear from you, and it's easy to do. Your TalkBack's just... <laughs> <coughs> God. So this is your first time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We do love to hear from you. Okay. We do love to hear from you. We like reading your comments on the air. So send us your thoughts to talkback at seattle.gov. Now let's see what's in our electronic mailbag this week. You want to go back? Before we say goodbye, we have a bit of a riddle to close our program. What has switches, a grill, and bellows? Here you go. Another uh, thing here. <coughs> Here's a riddle to close our program today. What has switches, a grill, and bellows? It's a musical instrument. Okay. You're going? Okay. Okay. Here's a riddle to close our program today. What has switches, a grill, and bellows. It be Ready? Where are we here? Oh. <clears throat> Go ahead. Okay. That's our City Stream program for this week. I'm Mike James at the old Derigo plant in South Seattle. Until next time, take care. That's our City Stream program for this week. I'm Mike James at the old Derigo plant in southeast Seattle. Until next time, take care. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Here's a kind of riddle to close our program. What has switches, a grill, bellows? No, oh, no, let's do that again. Okay. Go on. Here's a riddle to close our program this week. What has switches, a grill, and bellows, and is most often heard playing Lady of Spain? I'll do another one of those. <coughs> Here's a kind of riddle to close our program this week. What has switches, a grill, and bellows, and is perhaps most often heard playing Carnival of Venice. Actually, their role has just changed a whole it lot because, because so they are doing more technology. More yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Okay. Right. Well, let's wait one minute. We'll get a plane. Let's see, pick up every little murmur. All right, I'm rolling. Okay. Okay. I'm energy drained, so I'm rolling. Okay, Mrs. Zavala, let me ask you. Uh, you had some principal concerns about that piece mm -hmm. of property that yep. just kind of deteriorated over the years. Tell me what those are. I think the first one is, is just the, the safety issue. That's got to be number one where um, there are people that do sleep in there. And so I think just the fact that they sleep there, then that carries over to our building. And so then sometimes you'll find folks sleeping around our building oh, and too. You've got children walking by there. Have children walking by. The, so, so the first one is the safety, you know, and just that, that issue. Then the other one is, is um, what it communicates to the kids. You know, a lot of our kids come from Yesler Terrace. This is their community, this is our community. And so when they come through here, that becomes the norm. 
you know, and so, and they have to walk through that every day. And the third one is the... And the third one is all of the paper and the debris that just accumulates there, okay? So it accumulates, again, you know, it, besides the fact that it's that eyesore and you see it there, then it blows over here. So our custodian needs to go out and pick it up, you know, so it's just, it's just ongoing. You Do you know? have uh, some hope or some frustration about something being done about it? I mean, what, what's your position on that? Do you, you, you feel something will change or you're stuck with it or what? Well, you know, because I know that there are folks that are working on it in the community, this is my first year here at Bailey Gasser yeah. and they've come in and they've actually talked to me about it. I do have hope that, it, that it's going to change. And I think in a time when we're talking about um, safety, you know, and we're so close to downtown and what we want our city to look like and what we're communicating to our kids, that I do have hope that, that it is going to change. I think that it's going to take some... Um, you know, people collaborating. Maybe people have been doing things independently, but I think through the collaboration, hopefully it'll change. One last thing. Do you get any feedback? Uh, I know you have your own concerns about mm -hmm. this as the principal of the school. People mention it to you, parents, other people, some, from time to time? Well, see, that's the concern, is the folks that are mentioning it are the folks that have businesses around here. But I really haven't had, you know, a lot of parents you know, I've had a, a couple, but not a lot, and that's that's a big concern too. Is where it becomes just kind of just like accepted. that's just the way it is, and that you know, and that that in itself, I think, is specifically um, not a good thing for our little kids. Yeah. So your message would be, we don't need to tolerate this. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 We don't we don't need to tolerate it, nor should we have to. Yeah, you're right. Great. You that's it. Just, uh, it talk for another minute or two. Right. So it, it's just trying to give people who have a concern about something a way to voice that. All right. That's kind of what we're doing this. Everybody's got these now. I've got one to get into City Hall. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So are you a native from here? Where, where did, it's your Actually, I'm a native of Washington State, and I've been in Seattle for 30 years now. So, you know, I've, I've been here. I've seen, seen changes, familiar with the communities, and and know that, that um, this is tolerated in some communities and not in others. Yeah, that's kind of sets a message. It's just an old kind of broken way. Like, tell me, well, where did you talk before you came here? You were head teacher here. What, oh, I actually was in West Seattle. I actually was at Gatewood in West Seattle before I came here. Yep. It's Donna went every which way, you know, different libraries. She was always on the, you know, let go on the cut list. And then just a month before school, she'd find out which library she'd in. Okay. And so she she moved around. Was she at Gatewood? No, she was at oh. Fauntleroy. You need a little more, don't you know? Uh, she was at Fauntleroy at Gateway and at mm -hmm. uh, Whitworth and Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. right? That's four, four, okay. five all, yeah. four or five all together. I just want to ask you, how did this first come to your attention? Is it just something you just noticed right away? Or? Well, I'm going to tell you, that, that was the very first thing I saw when I came to interview for my position here. Huh? So... You know, I mean, I, I remember driving around and seeing that, and so, again, that's the first thing that folks see before they find our school. Well, what was the bell that went off when you saw that? Um, it, it, it spoke to the community. You know, it spoke to the businesses that were here. You know, and then I was here and I saw the school and I thought, yes, you know, this is this, that the school, the school is actually a very nice structure. Yeah, you're trying to say something with the yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. But go right to the, as fast as you can to that.
I'll go ahead and cue you on when to turn them because I'll kind of turn them towards the end. Ready? So just like thumb through those. Go ahead. Okay. So just really quickly. That's it? Yeah. Like have a page open, but you just pull it up so then I can see the pictures. Do that yellow or white? Actually, flip back to that one. Put a page over that where there was one. I saw like a gas pump in there. Gas pump? Yeah, um, I guess it's further. Further up? I mean, back. I mean, there. Yeah, this one. Oh. Kind of flip to, flip to reveal that one. Okay, so for maybe another one? Yeah. Party going on. Um, let's see. Why don't you kind of flip through the, just those three things? You know, that'll be okay. Got the, um, got this, uh, oh, okay. Then go back. Yeah. Let me know. Ready? Okay, go ahead. the other way kind of yeah. back to kind the back. Yeah. Yeah. Back to front. So just the photos or just kind of everything. everything. Okay.
The next one. Thank you. 